Hi YouTubers, um, I just want to create this video. Uh, this is going to be as quick as possible, a guide how to winterize your backflow preventer uh, for your sprinkler. So this is um, uh, a backflow preventer um, made by Fepco, which is pretty standard. Uh, I live in Houston, Texas. Um, this is a device that prevents the sprinkler system to to avoid it to uh, to um, to prevent water going this way into the supply of the city and um, polluting it from whatever maybe ground trash um, pollutant whatever uh, I'm not sure this is pretty normal um, in case there is some kind of pressure back it doesn't get to the city sewer I mean a sewer supply line anyway so let me explain a little bit quickly um, the supply of the water comes in from here and it goes towards here towards the uh, sprinkler system and right now it's on on position and uh, the, the valves there's one here and one here that controls the uh, on and off of the valves and they operate pretty simply you don't have to really remember so the, since the water flows this way having the valve like this vertically means that the water is able to flow so if i turn the valve this way where it's going to be horizontal is going to be blocking it we're not going to do that um, yet until i am going to show you how to bleed the backflow valve um, so the reason why we need to bleed the uh, backflow preventer is because if we just shut it off there will be water in here in this system and when the temperature falls below um, freezing it's going to uh, make the water in here freeze into ice and ice expands and therefore puts too much pressure you know actually crack even though this is made of steel there are components in there made of plastic but it doesn't matter ice can actually crack or put so much pressure it'll actually break steel or concrete so what we're trying to do is bleed it so that we get the water out of it and leave it in an open position uh, well actually probably better to leave it in a closed position after you bleed it and then shut off the water so therefore there's no water in the system so even if it freezes inside there's so little water not much at all even if they freeze, it doesn't put any pressure. It will never be able to crack the backflow system. So this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, this is currently on on position. I'm just going to demonstrate. So this is not part of the bleeding system, uh, ble bleeding process. But if I turn this sideways, you can see it's shooting out water. And so is this one right here. They both have to be bled. I just wanna show you that if I turn it uh, if I release the water, it will come out shooting out. Now, I'm gonna uh, turn off the supply of the water here by turning it. Sorry. I'm gonna turn it vertically, like so. Watch the, uh, there's a stopper right here. So you can't go any further turning it to the right. So this stops the water supply. So now when I release the pressure by turning this to the same direction as the nozzle nothing comes out no water comes out that means well there's actually water coming out like I said we're bleeding all the water that's inside so there's therefore there's no more water coming out same thing with this one also there's more water coming out and with the water supply turned off you see it's just dripping out it came out all the water that's inside here just came out and now it's slowly dripping 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 we're gonna wait until it's completely stopped and I'm gonna turn these two uh, bleed valves to block position which is vertical against the uh, the flow of the water so there you go right now it's pretty much stop I'm gonna turn the bottom one off and then I'm gonna turn the top one off and finally, I can just go ahead and turn this particular valve here, which go to my sprinkler system off. 
Now for extra precaution, I'm going to turn on my sprinkler system so that it will try to use up whatever water is inside these pipes all the way to the uh, sprinkler pump. That will ensure that the, there is no water in the pipe so there will be no pressure even if they iced up and freeze. So there's no water here or there will be no water here once I turn on the sprinkler system. There, there is no water here because we just bled it and the water supply has been cut off. This is pretty much foolproof. Even if I don't, I have a bunch of blanket and tarp here that I'm ready to cover this with. But even if I don't do it, I don't cover it, it will probably be okay throughout the winter. It will it will probably freeze, but as, like I said again, there is no pressure. Now there are plastic parts in here. So we do, I will go ahead and still cover it up with a blanket and a tarp over it just to make sure. But I'm just letting you know that um, bleeding is probably gonna solve 70-80% of the problem but uh, just to make sure that you don't have to replace any of the valve, uh, bell, plastic parts etc just just go ahead and cover it with blanket and tarp or styrofoam or whatnot okay just want to let you guys uh, know how to properly bleed and winterize the backflow uh, preventer thank you